Creating your CDC Worksite Health Scorecard account. The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to create your CDC Worksite Health Scorecard account. The CDC Worksite Health Scorecard is a tool that can help employers assess, track, and plan how to implement evidence-based workplace health strategies. Creating a CDC Worksite Health Scorecard online account for your organization allows you to access the many features of the system, view your results and reports from current and past years, and compare your data to all other employers in the system. The account is free and takes only minutes to create. When setting up a CDC Worksite Health Scorecard account, your employer account must have at least one corresponding worksite to access the scorecard. If your organization is small or only has one location, adding a single worksite is sufficient. If your organization is large with multiple divisions, offices, or locations, you can create as many worksites as needed under a single employer account to manage workplace health programs. Let's begin setting up an account. From the CDC Worksite Health Scorecard homepage, select the New User button. Next, select the Get Started button. Then select No, I do not have an employer ID. Finally, answer Yes to Would you like to register a new employer? Next, enter information about your organization. This is called the Employer Profile. To illustrate the creation of an employer account, let's follow a large, fictitious, multi-worksite organization, our healthy company, through the setup of its account. Jane B. Well is the health promotion coordinator at our healthy company. She will be setting up and managing the company's scorecard account. First, Jane will need to add herself as the contact person for the account. To do this, she selects the Add an Employer Administrator link and adds herself. An employer administrator is the master user for the account and has full access to employer and worksite level information, including all of the profiles, scorecards, and reports associated with the employer account, has permission to modify account information and complete and submit worksite health scorecards, and is the key contact for the employer account. When Jane selects Add an Employer Administrator, a pop-up window appears that allows her to enter contact information and whether or not she will be involved in completing the scorecard. Jane B. Well will be the primary point of contact for the account. She selects OK to return to the Employer Administrator registration page. There must be at least one Employer Administrator on the account. However, it's recommended that there be multiple people on the account in case someone leaves the organization or has a change in responsibilities. This ensures that more than one person has access to the login code and account information on an ongoing basis. Jane decides that someone with knowledge of the organization's structure, health policies, and benefits, and or a member of the organization's wellness committee is needed as an alternate employer administrator. She repeats this process to add Sue Walker, the human resources manager, as an additional employer administrator. Jane continues completing the employer profile information with company contact information, size and type of business or industry, optional demographics, and general information on current health promotion programs. Once Jane clicks the Register Employer button, she will see a pop-up confirming her registration and giving her a login code. The login code will also be emailed to her. Jane receives a welcome email that includes her worksite's name and a login code. It is important to keep this login for future access to the account. Once the employer account is created, you can return to the CDC Worksite Health Scorecard and access your account information, scores, and reports at any time by clicking on Returning User and then entering the code. Adding a Worksite Now that Jane has a login code, she can begin adding worksites. 
Jane logs into her account and sees the employer dashboard page where she can see her work sites and manage her account. She is ready to add a work site to the account and clicks on the Register a New Work Site link. Let's review. Jane has created an account for Our Healthy Company, registered two employer administrators, and is now ready to add three work sites. Work sites can be divisions, departments, single locations, or smaller organizational units where different types of wellness programs are in place. When Jane clicks on the Register a New Work Site link, a screen appears for her to enter contact information about the work site and add the team member who will be associated with the work site. A team member is a key contact for the work site and can be involved in health scorecard completion. Team members can be personnel, wellness committee members, program champions, or anyone that may be involved in scorecard completion. This person is familiar with the type of wellness program offered at this work site and is often involved in its management. Jane decides to add Steve Hart, who is on the wellness committee and works at the West Coast Division. From the West Coast Division's profile, Jane clicks on Add a Worksite Team Member and a pop-up window appears. The information provided is very similar to the Employer Administrator registration. Once she adds Steve and clicks OK, the system auto-generates a welcome email with a login code specific to Steve's worksite. Now that Jane has added all her worksites, she can access the worksite dashboard and its features, as well as the CDC worksite health scorecard by clicking on the worksite name. Let's look again at what Jane has created. Under her account, she has added three worksites and a team member for the West Coast Division. Sue will serve as the point person for the corporate headquarters. Jane will call the East Coast Division to identify its team members. From the worksite dashboard for the West Coast Division, Jane and Steve can see the worksite health scorecard on the left and the worksite account tools on the right. To begin completing a worksite health scorecard, they can click on each topic and answer the corresponding questions within each topic. Remember, with your login code, you can also return to your scorecard account to manage your profile and add or remove administrators and team members at any time. This concludes the tutorial on creating your CDC worksite health scorecard account. If you have questions or need assistance, please contact us at this email address. Visit our website to access the CDC Worksite Health Scorecard User Guide for more information.